the most accuracy is this. That's the most accurate. There are four different options sort of things here. One minute every tick were real ticks and OHLC. This falls under how it's reading the data in effect, and this falls into how it does the test. So there's two halves. And let's break that into two halves here. Now, in an ideal world, the most accuracy is this. That's the most accurate, yeah? What are the variables to this? The variables are simply how many optimizations you're testing and what your computing power is. They are big variables because somebody might have an old laptop that is doing 50,000 combos that just won't be able to do that. Whereas I could probably do that on mine and some of you have got big setups now and do that in 10 minutes. So when we're getting asked the question, what should I do? Well, there's too many variables to really give you a firm answer to that. You're going to have to look at what your optimization size is and how long that's going to take, and then try and find ways to increase that speed. Because ultimately here, there are pros and cons to both. So here to here is ideal. That would be number one. It also depends on the strategy that you're testing because one minute OHLC can generate realistic results after you've rechecked them on every tick with real ticks. You need to do that. Otherwise, your test might be total bullshit. So you might do this because the slow full optimization is testing every single possible combination that you've identified. Fast genetic will miss a load and it will miss a load because it's a genetic test based on which was better of this v this or oh, that one was. I'm going to use that. What was better that be that Oh, this one was. And all of a sudden you've missed how that one worked with that one because it's a learning what's working but it's not learning how each setting is working with others in effect however if you're struggling and you've got like a silly optimization of like i don't know a million something daft if you were to go either using this or this and use fast genetic it's going to only test up to ten and a half thousand ten four nine six to be precise don't know why it's that number just the way it is you'll see the graph for the test it's going to find shit results first and it's going to move into more green at the top right because it's learning what's working then what i would do is look at the top results and go okay there's some patterns here for example it's mainly one minute rsi that's dominating my rsi test it's mainly a pip value of x that's dominating the top here so then what i'd do is i'd take those learnings and run a smaller slow full optimization and ideally every tick were real ticks that's what i'd do because i've used the first one to find me some clues so in short there's no right or wrong to this the variables are making sure you understand that this is ideal situation but you can do every tick with real ticks with fast genetic you're going to get less results but they are going to be accurate results the ones you get because they're on every tick with real ticks and that will give you some clues to maybe then do that go to a slow full optimization or you might do one minute oh OHLC to fast, or you might do one minute OHLC to slow. What you have to do at the end of anything that you've tested that's on OHLC is re-sanity check it on the most accurate way of testing, because otherwise it might not work in the real market because how they're calculating it is not as accurate. So hopefully that helps.